Hello everybody, in this Rhino 7 video demo, I would like to demonstrate the modeling of a container that is comprised of many holes and is also parametric. Okay, let's start. In order for us to be able to do this demo, we'll need to have the Riverbird plugin installed. So we can go to the package manager to have it installed okay you can go to online tab and select riverbird to have it installed okay as i've already installed it i will not um, do the installation again okay i've drawn a bunch of circles which will form the cross-section of the main form okay and I would like to rebuild them to be curves that are sub D friendly so I'm going to type rebuild select them okay and then enable make sub D friendly and set the point count okay so let's set the point count to 9 and click OK okay Okay, next, let's open up the sub D toolbar. Okay, the next command that I will need to use is the sub D loft. But before that, I'm going to click the record history to ensure that the subsequent sub D surface has created is a uh, parametric. Okay, so I'm going to click the record history, click the sub D loft, and then select the curves in sequence. Okay, and if you like to change the number of division between shapes, you can modify the value over here. Okay, so let's set it to two. Okay, click OK. Okay, you notice that if I were to make any change to the curves that were used to form the surface, the surface will correspondingly be updated because of the enabling of our record history okay okay let's um modify the shape a little bit okay you can see if i have to make some kind of uh, modification the form will change so this is actually quite quite interesting Maybe something like that, okay. Okay, now the next thing I need to do is to open up Grasshopper. Okay, as the river birds is a uh, part within Grasshopper. Okay, so I'm gonna find out Grasshopper. Okay, let's um associate this sub D surface to a component okay so I'm going to the parent sub D okay and then right mouse click set one sub D and associate this uh, sub D surface to this component over here okay I would like to use the river birds um, command now so let's head over to the river bird toolbar and I will need to use the river bird picture frame okay this one okay unfortunately you notice that this component only accept mesh or polyline however we have a sub D over here so what we need to do is to convert this uh, sub D component to a mesh okay so let's go to the surface tab again Go to the sub D section and then select mesh from sub D. Okay, so I'm going to put this component in and let's connect this component to here so that uh, we are able to extract the mesh from the sub D model. Okay, and then let's connect this to here. Okay, okay. let's uh, hide this, hide this. 
like this okay and you can see that um, we have the output mesh been shown okay and you can control the the, the size of this uh, opening by changing the density value okay so let's uh, type a range here okay okay you can see now yeah we can change the value and this will result in a uh, um, opening that is uh, of a different size okay I think I don't want it to be so big it's something like that okay and then we can set the distance here to sort of uh, create a, a better uh, bigger width over here okay maybe five okay connect here and I think this two thin I think I can set it even even uh, bigger okay okay maybe something like that okay okay the next thing I need to do is to give this mesh some thickness okay and we can do so by going to the Weeper bird section again and go to the transform tab and select mesh thicken okay connect this okay now you can see that yeah we got this thickening effect here and let's put a custom preview so that we can see the shading okay so it looks something like that okay and if you need to control the, the the depth here you can set a slider at the distant input okay so I'm gonna do that now okay yep you can see we are able to change the thickness by changing the distant input okay so maybe something like that okay something like that will do okay okay now let's convert the mesh back to sub d okay and to do that um, let's head over to the surface tab go to sub d and select this sub d from mesh and then connect this to this okay you might be wondering why why do we not use um river birds uh, internal subdivision uh component to do our uh, um, work over here okay the, the the reason for doing that is that because um river birds um sub d uh polygon or mesh base and for this demo what I want to create is something that can be eventually converted to NURBS as uh, NURBS is the essential format for manufacturing whereas um, if you were to use a mesh model the best that you can go is only um, up to 3D print printing okay Okay, so yep, I think I have uh, more or less uh, created the definition. And if you would like to control the size of the opening and the number of it, you can play with the um, the density value over here. Okay. Okay. As you can see, now I set the density to three and we got a lot more openings and they are a lot smaller okay
Okay, with that, I come to the end of this um, demonstration. Hope that's been useful to you. See you around. Bye.